<laughs> Welcome to the third edition of Talk Death, Bodies and Forensic Science with Vidal Herrera. Hi, Vidal. Hi. How long does an autopsy take on average, and is it physically exhausting? Well, the physicality of doing autopsies, people, again, you don't see that on TV. The handling of the, one thing they have never showed is how the body, a body is processed. Mm -hmm. It's fingerprint, it's undressed, and it's photographed. You have to actually turn the body. You know, it's, it's very difficult. They slip because you have to wet them. There are different accidents, but just the mere weight. And now with our society with obesity, the body is getting bigger and bigger. And uh, it's, you, you just do it. You have to do it. Yeah, <laughs> it sounds like quite the challenge, honestly. Yeah, to CSI shows, it's seeing everyone, no one sweats. It seems like a really easy thing that they're yeah. doing. Yeah, yeah they're you all, actually don't usually see them moving the bodies. All, yes, when, I, when I first started this profession, we used to wear white pants orderlies. And the, the thing that was very important, which people don't realize, we used to wear a black belt. But well, now they just wear scrubs. But that black belt gave you lower, lower lumbar support to move and handle bodies. So that, that's gone, so that's why you see more people ergonomically injuring their backs, lifting bodies. It's, it's it, it really, it, it's very, very, very physical. So an average autopsy for us could take anywhere a minimum of two hours to 10 hours, depending on the knife wounds that we see, the gunshots, you have to get the trajectory, the pho photographs and bring x-ray people to x-ray the body. But when we do them, usually we do what we call the, the, the daily, uh, regular cases, it averages two hours. Sometimes we don't even talk because you're you're in a, you're in a mode. You're just working. You work with a doctor. You're you're a team. You know what the doctor expects, mm -hmm. and you just do. When you see something, you stop. You photograph it. You collect it. You remove it. You save it. But you just keep working. And then when once that's completed, uh, because I work in the private profession, I have my own lab. We have a refrigerator. And we have been known to have a beer after our autopsy. It relaxes our nerves, and then we continue until we finish. <laughs> and we can do anywhere from four to ten, 10 autopsies a day, one after the other. 